In this video, we're gonna take this dual heat sink fan case for the Raspberry Pi 4. We're gonna get up close and personal with the fan noise, and then we're gonna run some cooling temps, and just overall check out this case and see if it's worth it. All right, so upon unboxing, you have some thermal stickers, which that's what I'll use for this video. You get three of them. I'll end up using those, but something that's kind of weird is they didn't even mount, the fans have come mounted. I mean, it's not really weird, but it's like, you know, it's, it's an extra step. I guess it was just cheaper probably from assembly. But the two fans are wired into one input. So it's two reds into one, two blacks into one. Um, but this pretty standard case is just a remodel that for the Raspberry Pi 4, but I'm just going to go ahead and put in the, um, one thing I did notice is there actually is two different types of screws here. You got a low profile screws that go here, and then you got ones that have a slightly larger head. And you'll notice when you put the right, if you put the wrong screws in here, it's going to look a lot higher. It's going to go up a lot higher than the other ones. And then these big ones go in here and you can see they kind of go flush. If these aren't flush, you're using the, the lower profile screws. So at the end of it, these all kind of work out. Look at this case, that looks a little... They cut it out, slotted, just like your brake rotors. My Brembo's. I got Brembo's all around, nothing else. Brembo's are going All home. your screws fell out. No, 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 I know. I'm just showing them the, the construction here. But solid aluminum, dual fan, Raspberry Pi 4 case. Another nice little detail is you'll notice that the risers here it's a little shorter for the processor, so it makes up that room, so you still get a nice connection with all the other chips on the board. All right, let's go ahead and line this all up. This is quite the design. And then for the pins, you have two rows of pins here. The third to last one on the bot on the one closest to us is gonna be black, and then the second is gonna be red, second to last. Then we should have one empty pin. So it should look something like that. There's the top. Dual fans, big heat sink side other side one more side and the back um, they have a little cut out here so you can still get to the camera port and then the display port cut out and then the GPIOs all the outputs still get into very easily outputs or inputs and the GPIO is still accessible. So as far as fan noise, I'm going to go right up to the fans. Very, very quiet. So I'm starting off with some base temps. I haven't ran any CPU tests yet until now. Um, as you can see, mid 40s or so, 40 degrees. And after the test, I am fast forwarding. These tests take a little while, but I'm cutting and then pasting. And as you see, a little, little higher, but it drops really fast. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fan cooling the heat sink, and then just that massive heat sink as well. Um, we're gonna run it again. We're gonna run this a few different times and speed it up. Um, when I get to the end here, you'll see a comparison of all the, the the different Raspberry Pi 4 cases and cooling solutions. I've done quite a bit here, and it's not as cool as I thought it was going to be, and I'm not really sure why, but it's still doing a really, really good job. Don't get me wrong. I think I've just been spoiled now with that tower fan, um, but as you see here, we'll start breaking 48, 49. The highest I was able to get this, and you'll see in a moment, is right around 50 degrees. That's the highest. And you'll notice that it kind of hangs out around 45 or so. 
And so this case is plenty, plenty good for pretty much 95% of all applications. Um, the thing is that this is not only a, a heat sink, it's a fan and it's a case. The heat sink acts as a case and it protects a lot of the pie. I'd still feel comfortable moving around with this, putting it in a backpack, etc., etc. And you do get a fat piece of aluminum. So I feel like you get a lot for your money here. It looks cool, it does work. My only surprise was that it didn't work nearly as much. Um, here we'll see a summary and base is no heat sink, no fan, just a heat sink, 66 degrees. And as you see, this kind of as a peak number, it rides pretty high. Um, but as far as a nominal number, as far as a normal use, not maxing it out number, it's actually closer to 45 or lower. Um, with that being said, it's very much in line with a lot of the other cooling solutions. Um, and then you also get the heat sink as, as, as well. So um, there you go. There's some numbers to work with, but um, overall, I would buy this case for the price and the fact that it's a case and a fan. And to be honest, it's probably one of my favorite looking cases. Um, I like the industrial look of it. Um, so with all that, and it's small, right? It's a small form factor case. It keeps the pie super small, which again is a nice feature. So with all that said, I'm still gonna give this a recommend. Um, let me know what you all think. That's what I think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.